and uh, welcome back to uh, Mobile Suit Gundam, the new Giren's Ambition. With me, I don't know, uh, Xeon Commander Polar Dash guy. <laughs> I mean, I, 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 I would think I'd be able to call myself Commander by this point. It looks like I do have complete control of all of Xeon's forces uh, committed to fighting the Federation scum on Earth and in space. Um, Although Giran is supposed to be playing that part, um, I don't know. I mean, I have I can control him too, so I don't know. Uh, I guess I, I'm the star of the show, regardless of what Giran says when he when his talking head pops up. Now maybe, maybe I'm like some kind of secret advisor that he keeps in his desk drawer <laughs> when he needs to know what he wants to what he needs to do next. He like kind of opens that drawer and asks me questions and then closes it before anybody important sees. So I'm that guy. All right. Um. Last time we uh, we began our invasion of Earth, starting with uh, Odessa, the mining bases of a uh, of a blah, 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 of Odessa, in uh, in the Middle East. Uh, I've deployed the uh, the Black Tri Stars and the Cyclops team to uh, to go and capture it, and they did. They brought down the uh, the main headquarters in Odessa uh, quite easily, uh, and are now uh, doing mop up duty. Wiping out any other resistance in Odessa. Uh, we have control of it, even though there are still remnants of uh, the Federation left there. So we can produce units here, which will be useful in uh, reinforcing some of our units that we deployed el elsewhere, like the rest of Earth. Um, we got that uh, we dropped in dudes in uh, North America. We got uh, dudes in North Africa. We got some in in uh, Asia, Australia. Um, we got we got Xeon robots all over the place, um, but yeah, the, uh, the the Federation aren't just gonna sit and watch uh, uh, their enemies go and capture their cities. They're sending out uh, forces to counterattack, and we will need to deal with them. Um, out in space, our uh, defense line around Earth's orbit decimated their uh, the Federation attack force that they deployed out of Luna Two here. Um, and I think uh, I might want to divert some of these guys uh, into reinforcing uh, some of my divisions on Earth. You know, whoever needs uh, the reinforcements the most. Uh, I and, and I also got reinforcements coming in from Solomon here. Um, they should be arriving around Earth orbit. I don't know within like two three turns. Um, I think that about covers it. Yeah. Yeah. I also, um, there was this other screen that I could be showing. This little screen, uh, which shows you, like, our, uh, production and, like, our total forces that we have under our command, along with our uh, technology levels in a single screen, and, like, national and international uh, opinions of our side. So here we got, the, this is the amount of money I produce each turn. This is the amount of resources I get each turn. Um, this is our technology levels. Um, here we have the number of production centers we have, five. This is the number of strategic points. Uh, points that we can like resupply and repair our, our units, but not produce at all. We got 28 of these. Uh, our forces consist in total of 179 units. Uh, it's, and it's broken down into types. We got 112 uh, robots and mobile suits. Uh, this is mobile armor, we don't have any yet. This is the number of warships we have. A uh, number of tracked vehicles, like tanks and stuff. Um, number of uh, atmospheric fighters, and this is the number of space fighters, void fighters. Uh, and then you can also look at the Federation side. Um, and they are still producing more than us, way more than us. They got plenty of resources that they're cranking out of all of their Earth places. Um, and still producing a decent amount of cash. And they're ahead in the technology race. They they even unlocked level one of our technology, which is bad. It means there's tons of spies within our... I don't know, within our places. <laughs> um, they have more production centers still. And, wow, like twice as more strategic points. Um... But we have 112 mobile suits, and they have none. Um, and we need to make the the best of uh, of this. 
while they have no mobile suits, we need to just go and, I don't know, reap the the, the earth dry of their continents. <laughs> um, but defending Earth are 85 atmospheric units, the fighters, right? They have a massive air force, and um, air superiority can win wars. They usually do, and so we will need to do something to neutralize this threat. Produce uh, anti-air units of our own. Um, and they still have plenty of warships that they're cranking out of Luna 2 and I think side something. Side 7 maybe over there. Um, and we're going to need to bring up our space muscle. Yes. Okay, so that's kind of that. Um, let's contact my researchers. And let them know that they get, they're getting more funding. Which they huzzah to in their Xeon lab coats. Okay. And I do want to do uh, development of new mobile suit types. I also want water. Mm. This is a um, Zaku 2 modify for desert warfare. We might want this. Or do we? Do we need this now? Sh uh, sure. Okay, we'll eventually need it in our desert or in our North Africa or or Africa campaign. Um, this is a uh, supply plane. You might have seen this a lot in Gundam Online. You might have seen a lot of these explode in Gundam Online. You might have seen mobile suits explode out of it in Gundam Online. We're going to need these because uh, we need to expose supplies to our mobile suits in this game with this. It's very uh, important that we have the art fat uncle, which is what this unit is called. Okay, so I'm, I gave them extra funding to speed up the uh, development process. Uh, this is plans for a uh, like a Musai Mark II, uh, our star frigates. I guess I'll have our researchers develop this, but at a steady pace. I really don't have the cash to be blowing it on our research teams, but research is important. We need to stay on top of the uh, research race, the technology race, while we still have the upper hand there. Uh, tanks, do I? I guess I might need cheap tanks. Um, this is a Zaku 2 modified for field officers or field commanders. Uh, it comes with an antenna. That's what this, the horn is on the Zaku 2. It's also got upgrades, which make making it better than regular Zaga 2s. You know, all that a commander would want in his mobile suit. I guess I'll start researching on this. Um, this is a Zaga 2 modified for underwater fighting, or oceanic fighting. I guess we'll start building that too. Um, and this! This thing is a Zaku 2 modified with a, an artillery cannon on its shoulder. We want this ASAP. Um, along with air superiority, or I, think, I think artillery also wins wars. And in this game, it is no exception. It's just aw just awesome to be able to shoot over multiple tiles without having to worry about counterattack. We need this. Okay. Alright, that's it. Um, now we want to be looking at our intelligence teams. Um, let's give them some more funding. Man, I am blown through the cash. <laughs> um, yeah, I, uh, I kind of reread this. And this is more like, uh, I mean, it says information. So I thought it might be like on technology, but this is actually, uh, I think it updates this, right? So I don't think we need to con keep doing this. So we're going to save our money. So that we can uh, instead... Uh, do these other thingers. Like steal enemy mobile suits by bribing, like, uh, I don't know, Federation mechanic teams or something. Engineers. But we do want this. This is, the, this is going to raise our... Uh, that enemy technology bar we have at the bottom there, the purple one. Okay, um... 
Now let's see, now that I've gotten... No, I need to have complete dominance over Odessa before Giren tells me to attack something else. Yeah, it's kind of a, a shame that you need uh, Giren's permission to hit production centers. You can't just freely choose which ones you want to attack. You have to kind of go how the story did it, or the, the canon, by canon. Which kind of sucks, it kind of takes away that freedom from you. But, it actually might be a good thing, because if you attack, if you were to be able to attack like multiple production centers at once, you'll have to like go through different battles each turn, which could take make each turn like last forever. Anyway. Okay, so now let's manage our uh, fleets and stuff. I, I think I'm gonna move these guys in first, before I forget. Okay, so our Chibe, uh, captain by Konsken, is going to... Alright. Apparently he's within uh, radio communication range of units, or maybe not. This, uh... What the hell was I looking at? Oh, this. Special. Uh, he can, um... Spread Minoski particles, which I might go over some other time. I really don't know the effective use of Minoski particles in this game. Uh, or it's like... Strategical use. <laughs> tactical use. Uh, it's like weird like uh, like a nebulae thing that you could spread in like a some certain radius and it makes your guys hard to hit and it makes shooting out of it hard right it's like it's like a fog it makes like a fog effect and he can also uh, rally raising uh, units morale within his uh, command range this this right okay so you can do that This is our uh, Musai, command captain by Dren. Okay. And let's start moving our eggs full of Zakatu Fs. Okay. And the Dodai. Okay. And this is our supercarrier, uh, the Guajing. Okay, with Giren's sister, Cassilia, captaining it. This is the Chibe. Uh, it's captain by Delaz. Igu Delaz. He was a. He was a uh, important character in one of the uh, Gundam OVAs. The one based around the uh, like the Gundam with the nuke. 083, the Stardust Memory was one of my favorites. Except for the story, the story was stupid and dumb. Like, late half. Anyway, um. So we did that. Um. Now we are going to, uh. Finish the rest of these guys. This Salamis here, class, uh. Frigate, I think the Salmus is a frigate. This is a cruiser. I think this thing's bigger. It's captained by John Cohen. Um, has uh, armor of 520. It's got lots of firepower. Cool with uh, cannons, cannons, and missiles. Same. Oh, this is, uh... It's under the command of, uh, Esper Synapse. He was also a double 83 guy. He's cool. Um... Okay. I'm not sure if this will give me total armor, if it's con current armor. It's three. It's a 380. Anyway. Um... We are going to, uh... Let's see. I want to pull this... Back. Okay. And I also want to pull this. Who's in here? I think this is. I think Sima Garahau and team are in this. Uh, Jack is not in there. 
Yes. She's one of my favorite characters, too. She was also a double 83 character. Uh, and some guy, and some dude. Oh, he was, he died. <laughs> he died in the show. That was funny. Uh, how far can this thing move? No, no. This way. Can't move back to... Oh, this is to Jabra. We don't want to go there anyway. Alright, I think I'm going to deploy... Uh, the suits out of this, and then use the... The empty holds to bring in something else to attack somewhere on Earth. Because I want... Miss... Uh, get our how here, uh, fighting in space. Uh, okay, so how am I doing that? How is Polo Dodge doing this? He is going to first. Hushing. I'm gonna get these guys out. I just have them here. And uh, can they? No. I'm gonna have them stand up, stand by for now. Move this. Let's see. Let's see the range on this guy. The Zakatu sees. That's the other problem. These are crap. Maybe I can bring these guys in. Uh, Polo Dash is thinking. Give me Uno Momento. Yeah, the Zakatu sees. They don't look like they move very well on Earth because of the, all the terrain tiles that makes them ineffective. So I'm just gonna look at its stats. Yeah, they do poorly in forests, too, moving, and the mountains, which slows them down. They're fine in open open land, though. Where's the, um... I, just gotta, gotta, I mean, I'm kind of explaining this, but kind of look, looking at this stuff for my own reference at the same time. Where was it? Uh... Uh... No. Do it. What the hell? Where was the screen? No. There was a screen that let you go out to the I can't remember where it was. Uh, killed it. Oh, I know where it was. I think. No, this is in it. What the hell? Where was the screen that lets me uh, look at all the units I had? I can make. I need to know. Not the reference. Oh, here we go. No, this is probably not it. No. Yeah, this is telling me what all the what all the stats mean. Ah, uh, I can't remember. Let's just go through each one. This isn't it. This isn't it. Though I can, I guess I could look at. Wow, I super don't remember. Oh, there we go. Okay. Hickey. There we go. Um, and I want to look at... Well, that probably took like 10 minutes. Sorry that. Sorry about that. Uh, the Zaku 2C. Compared to the Zaku 2F. Alright, the Zaku 2F can, can operate on, in forest tiles, which does make a difference. There's plenty of forest on, on Earth. If you haven't lived on it, to know. <laughs> Uh, the Zagatu J can move very well in mount mountainous terrain too, which makes them even better on Earth. Um, so what th what does all this mean? This means I I still need to think of if I want I still need to think about if I want to drop Zagatu C's onto Earth. Maybe maybe in a place that has less mountains and forests. Where would that be? Not not in Asia. Asia's all jungle. Um, maybe North America? Where's North America? North America's over here. Let's see. Cool. Yeah, this, yeah, this is all desert terrain. I think this is desert. Desert is... This is like rough, or this is like... Not plains, but what's that? It's like barren land? Cool, yeah. You know, like, like Utah. I guess Utah's desert too. I don't know. There's a difference, difference between desert and 
like barren land in this game. Uh, and, uh, can I like go in here? Yeah, I can. Oh, that looks like a bunch of mountains. That looks like a bunch of mountains. A bunch of mountains protecting California. Fucking California. With natural defenses. Um, uh, this is gonna be a slow let's play, guys. <laughs> if you haven't figured it out already. There's tons of mountains on North America. I, d I didn't realize. Holy crap, the entirety of North America is a, is one gigantic mountain. Or at least this side of North America. Fucking North America. Yeah. Zaku 2Cs aren't gonna be doing too well out here. What about, uh, how do I get out of here? Load map. Uh, I, I, this is mountains too, probably. With, like, the... Appalachians or whatever that shit was called. Uh, yeah. Uh, who nanny? Where's the main base out here? Where's New York? This is New York? Uh, this is. This is a base. Where is there... I don't... I don't know. What do I have to capture on this place? This. Okay. I guess this is New York. Yeah, this is New York. Okay. This is all mountains turning to except like out here. Mm. Okay. I think the only place where our Zaku 2 Cs will be useful are maybe like in Africa. Or Australia. Yeah, Australia looks like a bunch of the, the barren land. No, it's desert. No, it's desert. I need desert zakas out here. And there's forests here too. Poop shit. What about what about wherever this is? There's mountains in Australia, really? I didn't know. There's a lot of open ground out here. Yeah, you know, maybe I'll just maybe I'll just forget my drop in Zaku two C's out up on into Earth idea. Let's go back into space. Um, and instead wait for the reinforcements. I just think I just have overwhelming numbers out here. I don't need all these guys. You know, let's just start dropping guys somewhere. Who cares? I mean, they'll eventually get to their point of. In, into the uh, where the fighting is, uh, but who do I drop? Who do I drop? Who do I drop? I would like to drop. Let's take some Zaka two C's from this squad. Take some Zaka two C's from this, and then push them into this, and then drop them on America, I guess. I still feel like it's a waste. You know what, let's, let's just start ga gathering them up. Put them in here. Get in. And, uh... Get in. I, I guess I won't drop them yet. So what's our North America situation? I'm sorry, guys. I also have a short-term memory. I don't remember what I was looking at. And these needs to be destroyed, because they're gonna get in the way of the landing. You know, maybe I should start deploying guys out here. Where, where, who needs reinforcements? You guys are okay in Africa. Uh, All oh, right, these guys. These guys could use some help in Asia. Yeah, you know, maybe we'll start dropping guys into Asia. What about Australia? Australia. Australia is a small area, but we only have one. Um, what do you call it? I guess this is a battalion. One team. 
I think a, a mobile suit team is is like three suits, and like two two teams is maybe a battalion. I don't know. Um, but I got I got a team out here. I guess a full stack. Meh. Uh, but they're not going to New York, so I think Yeg can stay there. This is gonna move back out here, and then we wanna throw a mobile suit into there too. Uh, I think I'll have some of these damage guys fall back. Uh, yeah, move back here. Oh, I, I should put the no well. Then if I if I put the egg up up here, the HLV up here, these four suits could have healed before I turn inside the egg. Or a HLV. I keep calling it an egg because it looks like one. Alright, how are we gonna deploy our uh, dudes? Uh, do I want bazookas on them? Can I like move it? And then deploy? Probably not. I don't wanna test it. Um. Fighter dudes, I guess can join the Zaku ones out here. Yep, that's fine. And uh, I also got some heroes that are going to go like here-ish. And then these guys. This guy is going to move into this team. Okay, and then Johnny Ryden and his friend Ken here is going to take up this spot. Like that. And then these three fighters are going to separate. And just going to join Johnny Ryden. The two are going to go here. And then the one extra will go with Akahana. Go. Okay. Mm, now. Now I would like. These can move, these can move. So. Oh, fudge me. Okay. Six fighters moving in toward the Salamis class frigate. Here. Um. Can you scan? No, I don't think players can scan. You guys can not scan either. Who can scan? Any of you guys can scan? No. You're not in range. What about you guys? I think Makube can. Yes, Sokutaki. The... Those two. Yes, we identified some guys, and we identified every unit in all these stacks. Good. Good job, Makube. You're the man. Could have been reinforcing dudes. Oh, so go up there. Uh, and uh, Morgan, in your Musai class, you can go. Uh, one, two. What's the range on your cannons? Tell me. Range on your cannons is two, three. Okay, good. That's Morgan, guys. He has a cool helmet. You can go then, like, here-ish. Yes. Okay, um... Now we are going to... You can start flanking. Oh, that's a Columbus-class supply plane or supply ship. It's not really... 
Not sure if it's worth going around to get it. Not really. So you guys are gonna attack this. And uh, Johnny Ryden. I think I'm gonna put. I think I'm gonna change the battle order here. Uh, I wanna put his wingman Ken in the front, followed by Johnny Ryden, and then the fighters in support. Uh, it's usually good to have uh, mobile suits up in the front, even if heroes are piloting them, because they can melee. Alright, so I have them attack the saberfishes, or the, is it called saberfishes? Saberfish, yes. With the triars. Tree. Tori. 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 Is it? <laughs> uh. Fighters. Tori. Is it? Tori. Is it? What's. What is that in English? Tori. 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 Is. Right, whatever. They're. They're shitty fighters. Okay. Um. Nope. Not move. I want you to attack. The, the fighters. All right, you're gonna do uh, attack runs on the Salamis class, uh, and then uh, you guys have. All oh, right. I only. F All right, so whatever. Why don't you go shoot the Columbus? Okay. And you are replacing whatever dies. Or you can be a maybe a decoy for the for the Star War the warships and their cannons so they don't hit units that matter. Uh, no, you're not moving. You're attacking Makuve. You're attacking. Uh, yes. this. Okay. Because so I need to bring that thing down. You're also shooting. Oh no. You are also shooting this. Okay, uh, and I got Musai's out here that could shoot. Oh, you can shoot the. All right, but what can you shoot? Those things. Can I bring you closer? I can bring you over here, which will put me in range of other stuff. What's coming? They they got a Salamis coming out here. Well, they got a lot of warships coming. Okay. But I can risk moving out here with Fawn Helsing. He is going to attack the Muslin class cruiser. You can shoot what? Uh, one of these. I guess I'll support my mobile suit units against those fighters. But I do want to change these guys' attack vectors. Oh, I can't. I, I can move Yuri up one. And then attack the Muzzalon. And Makube, you're gonna change your target to the, to the Muzzalon too. Okay, that was extremely time consuming. Holy crap. Um, and I got a Papua out here. I wish like there was like life bars or something like over the suits so I can kind of get a general idea of how damaged they are. So I don't have to like go into them. I don't have to like click on these things to find out if I have any damaged suits out here. Or like exhausted or depleted units. Because then I can easily, more easily find out where to move my supply planes. Like something I'm like out here ish. Yeah. No, that was like the worst idea ever. Uh, well, they can resupply these guys. I don't know. Can you? Whatever. Okay, and I got another poo 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 here. Uh, I can go like. I don't know. You can go here. I find. Oh, this thing can also spread monastery particles. Okay. Yeah, spreading Monofsky particles, like, they, uh, reduce accuracy it, for units that are shooting into it and shooting out of it. It's like a fog of 
crazy, like, radio interference. It's like ECM kind of stuff. Okay, um... Earth. Earth, you are beset by some kind of thing. An, an uncon one. Can I? No. I cannot scan it. You. You cannot move into the water. That sucks. Okay. Um, so we're probably going to be constantly threatened by fighters that the Federation are most likely producing out of this factory. Uh, Pooper Scooper. Well, then you're going to rejoin your team here. Okay. Uh, we are going to change the combat order because you can't melee air units anyway, so would want to have my heroes at the bottom. One, two, three, uh, four, five, six. Okay. And you're gonna try shooting blindly at the fighters out here. Alright, you got tanks rolling in from over here. Torrington. This is Par Pars. I, I don't know. I don't know Australia cities. This is Darwin. What is this? New Guinea. All right. I think uh, this is New Zealand. I think the uh, that colony that was supposed to fall on South America. I think it fell on Australia somewhere. I think I think it blew up Sydney. In the Gundam history line. Okay, so that happened. So that colony killed tons and tons of kangaroos along with Australians. It was a very sad time for for Gundam history. Uh, you guys are on your way to take that, but uh, these guys need your help. Pronto, can you get back in time? No. Why don't you capture this? Why is this captured? Why are you dumb? Ah, this, this is... Norris Picard's team. I don't want to lose them. Okay, well, in that case, I'm going to send them reinforcements. ASAP. So you're gonna go. I'm gonna have one unit capture this, and then the rest are gonna pull back. Like, what is this? This is. Alright, so it's straight planes from here on out. Let's go somewhere here. And you're gonna get who? Which one of these guys? Ass. Ass is gonna go and take this factory. Okay. And Top and Dell is are going to move back. Here. Now hopefully these fighters don't do something smart and like attack my smaller, more uh, vulnerable units that are out in the open. I ho I'm hoping that the AI isn't that smart. Probably should have sheltered them inside my, my HLVs, my happy landing vehicles. Uh, but that happened. Okay, now I'm moving on to you, 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 skipping that, moving on to... This is North America, right? I got all kinds of shit happening in North America. Uh, let's see. Can you... Oh, we got Lombarel and Gomerzabi moving in to capture... This is Vancouver. Japanese people love Vancouver. Um, I suppose they can continue their mission. They're still sufficiently supplied. Alright, go. This is, um... This is Rambarel's buddies, his teammates, that are instructed to take Mexico. They excel in guerrilla warfare, apparently. Because they, they say it a lot, that they're awesome with guerrillas. Um... And I got reinforcements here. Uh... Are going to uh, they're fighters. Fighters can't retake cap retake strategic points, which is nice. Uh, they're gonna sit in Denver or Chicago. Ah, choices. Which city is funner? They can go to Denver because Denver's Denver's high above sea level, and that'll make it easier to shoot fighters. <laughs> it won't. 
that makes no difference. Um, I'm just saying it. It's my reason for choosing Denver over Chicago. Not like I, I like Denver over Chicago or anything. Or anything. I think Chicago's a great city. Um, I like the city of... City of... Saxophones or something. Uh, did I move everybody? I think I moved everybody. Oh, these guys. Uh, duh. Well, you're gonna take this, first of all. I'm kind of disappointed that Norris can't scan. I guess he's on a Zaku wall, and Zaku ones aren't really known for doing anything, but... I don't know. Shoto tackling Gundams and dying. Maybe I'm better off fighting tanks. And you know what? I'll have better odds at hitting the tanks. So I'm gonna do that. Okay. Yes. Now I'm done. Am I really done? No! No! Um... I need to produce things from Solomon. Or no! <laughs> uh, I need to produce things in Odessa. Let's see. What do I need to build? I want to build fighters to counter their fighters. Though fighters aren't really known to be decent units. I could build the Dodais. Oh, right, I can put the Zaku 2Cs on Dodais. That'll completely negate their inability to, to walk on Earth most things. Earth, Earth's, uh, the majority of Earth's terrains. Uh, uh or I can build fighters. These guys cost how much now? Where is their... They cost 150 bucks and 200 resources. What about the Dodais? Dodais are more expensive because I upgraded them. Upgraded them with what? Mo mobility. I like mobility. I like being able to move more spaces. I'm gonna build Dodais. I'm gonna build, like, lots. I built six because it's the number you can put in a thingamajig, uh, a stack, a full stack. Maybe I'll build some dops, the fighters, because variety is funner. Okay, so I'll build some dops, and they're cheaper too. All right. Um, I want to build Zaku two Js too, though. Eh, all kinds of shit. But I first want to uh, give all the z the shitty old Zaku 2s and Zaku 1s, the Dodais that they can surf on, surfboard on in the air. Alright, uh, well, uh, I can build on Solomon, but do I really want to? I think I do. I can't, oh, I can't afford it. I can afford HLVs. Mobile suits? I really can't afford too many other things. I can build two Zaku 2 Js. I don't really feel like building Js out of Solomon. I'd rather build them off of Dissa. Maybe I should save my money. I feel like I'm wasting. I can build these useless guys. They're gonna cost me 120 a pop. Uh, I'll be able to build three. Just seems so useless. No, I'm not, even, I'm not even gonna bother. I don't feel like wasting the the analog movement to get these guys from Solomon to Earth. Oh, I can't cancel. That's right. Damn it. I hate this game. Why can't I not cancel? If anyone knows a way to cancel, let me know. I don't think there is. I'm just, I'm, like trying like every button I have. On the, no, no. Okay, so that's it. I'm, I'm building. I'm wasting analog movement. I'm wasting my thumb on getting those things over to here. Right, I'm done. I want to save. I want to do that uh, this this way. Um, save state slot. Uh, let's see. One. And save state. Alright. Okay. And I'm going to do an actual 
In game save. Nah. Nah, I'm okay. Um, I'm done, game. <laughs> oh, this is gonna take forever. I. I battled. I, I fought through a hundred battles. Fear my veterancy. <laughs> Oh my goodness, we took a lot of rocket hits. Oh, that's right, this, this unit was halfway damaged. I should have changed the battle order. No, but they got axed to fuck. Good job. Noobs! And I'll show you my... My desert lightning technique. Whatever that is. Hey, desert lightning technique, go! Lightning! Alright. Uh, he says, uh, rushing for promotion is for retards. Remember it! I'm not fighting for my country, I'm fighting for my my own awesomeness, says Johnny Ryden. Fuck yeah, awesomeness! I don't care what the hell you're fighting for, just keep doing that. Just, just keep doing that, just keep blowing shit up. Aren't you gonna ask? Yeah, ask him a question! Answer with explosions. I like that answer. Just what? It says, uh, I, I burn my my name into your penis. <laughs> he, he's known as the, the Red Lightning. It's burned into the Federation's penises. Oh, come on! Just like three more bombs. Uh, uh, let's uh, take you out first. With rockets! Supply this, asshole! Oh, boom. Columns class. Explodes into space dust. You're so weak. Of course it is, it's a supply ship. I won't let you get your upper hand! John Cohen! Oh! Alright, my lasers hurt it more than its lasers hurt me. I didn't take out any, uh... No, I wasn't able to take out any of their, uh, cruisers or their Star Wars, the warships. That sucks. No! Those things! We got them, uh, dead blocks. Ah! Uh... This is North America. Uh, you're gonna defend yourself. I'm not even gonna try counterattacking with that much firepower on me. Ah, uh, they're bringing out their depth blocks. That's bad. And their Salamis is shooting my Zaku One team. And the Mazalan is shooting my Zaku One team there too. Uh, these guys, these guys are gonna get hammered. Watch. These things are so OP. Here comes the bombs. Oh, my Zaku faces are getting smeared. Oh, it's, they're not too bad. Oh, there goes one. One blew up. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Now these aren't these guys aren't led by commanders or super awesome people like Rumble Rowan and Garmazabi. Okay. All right, they're not doing too bad. It might be because uh, I got the cover of uh, of a city. Okay, they're taking up my HLVs for me. It's fine. I don't need them. Bye. And we got saber fishes. Doing a strafing run on oh my Zaku ones out here. Oh, there goes one. Oh, there goes two. And alright, he lived. Good job. 
last got him and somebody else. The enemy was able to produce such powerful units. Boom. So we lost the hero. He's on time now. These freaking bombers, man. And they got so much hit points. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, this, this is gonna hurt. Alright. This is also gonna hurt. Ah! No! We lost one. Alright. And now the fight on. Fight in Odessa continues. Yes, yes, yes. You don't need to tell me. I, I know what's going on. It's going. The battle will continue. Of course it's going to continue, smartass. Alright, uh, you guys. I only need. I only really need one. So I want, maybe if I move these Dazakatus the off of my black tristars, the black tristars will be able to move faster. Because they don't have to stay in formation with the slower Zaku ones. What's the shortest path? Uh, wow, it's. Whoa, shit. That's four mountain dials. F that. Uh, really? In order to get to here? I gotta go through like 20 mountain dials? What if I were to. Yeah, this this entire area here is mountain. Yeah, it looks it's looking like it. This looks like a mountain. I guess I'll have them wrap around this way, and then oh, this is fucking mountains too. This is horseshit. Oh well. All right, so start starting over here. Okay. Uh, you guys. Uh, oh, I can't cross the freaking river. No, I can't cross the river. That's total shit. This this supply line makes no sense. <laughs> All right, uh, in that case, guess you can start making your way toward that artillery cannon, which I'm sure is gonna bomb you. If I can look at it, nope. Let's start. Send the dep logs or dep log. It's gonna go after this anti the SAM site. I think the SAM site was missing last time because of uh I took out the radar. Okay. And then uh What's the movement on the Donna Scargo? Can it move faster? It's gonna move a six, it's gonna move a five. Yeah it can. So what is Oh nice! Yeah, I like that. Alright, just want you like go out here and just Alright, well first you can scan. It's got scanning ability, that's cool. And that's all it has. Oh, it's a reconnaissance plane. Now I know. And no is knowing is half of wasting time. Yeah, it's got it's got uh, automatic cannons, for, I guess, for anti-air. Or maybe I don't know why I can't shoot. Maybe because I scanned. I don't know. Whatever. Who cares? I'm not gonna dwell on it. This guy is gonna. Can you bomb? Yeah, you can bomb. What is this? This is like a supply silo. Okay. This can spread minosity particles. Okay. And I'm done with this turn. Alright. Sam site is opening up on my depth logs. And you're gonna skillfully... Oh no, I'm, I'm hitting the Sam site. And it's not counterattacking. 
It's not even gonna bother. Just gonna eat those bombs and die. Bluey, yay! Okay, gone. Bombers are gonna hit the supply silo with holes in it. Hold it! Ah, oh, boo. There comes the artillery. Oh, that was a, that was a beam cannon! Okay, I'm getting sh shot by beam cannons from across the river. That's fun. Turn two. Alright, beam Mr. Beam Cannon. Get fucked. From the forest. Yes. It's gonna be supported. We're gonna have uh, air support here. We have to do a carpet bombing. With with one bomber. <laughs> Sergo, are you gonna go and do a reconnaissance sweep on the artillery piece? GJ! This is a beam cannon, level 1. It does lots of damage. Oh! So it's got a range of 2-2. Two, two. That's, that's cool. So I'm within its minimum range. It can't shoot at me. Awesome. To try star, you need to cross that mountain. Do get your mountain climbing gear out. Guess from here. It's a wall. Yeah, these are rivers and and lake tiles. I just want to make sure this is a this is plains tiles. Okay, so this is this doesn't count as like a uh, body of water. Good. Let's go here. Okay, you're gonna turn into a. I can't. I think I'm. Oh, with these guys. Why? Why can't I not join with these guys? Probably because that blogs are medium size, right? Uh, size, right? S is small. M is equals two S's. I think L is equals three S's. And then there's like huge alloyed, which counts as like one, one or. One gigantic clump of six small guys. <laughs> uh, okay, so you can't join with them. That's fine. You'll do your own bombing run uh, along with these guys. This supply silo is not going to be supplying siloing much longer. And uh, you guys, that river tile is going to butt at me, so you can start going around this way. To go and capture it. Okay, done. Holy crap! Uh, I won't make it in time. I'm gonna rush in and do a sloppy job. Okay, good enough for government work. Yay! And there goes the beam cannon. Yep. Destroy the objective, moving on to the next next operation. I don't think there is gonna be one. Andy. And there goes the supply silo. Ah! Oh, cool. We don't have to capture the points, we just have to destroy all the units. Yay! We win! And the first guy was like, uh, we detect no reinforcements to counter the capture of Odessa. Uh, Zion has taken their first uh, place on Earth. And now Zion can make use of Odysseus' uh, resources. 
And this is a uh, strategic point that Zia must defend. And with the capture of their first foothold on Earth, uh, it will greatly advance Zion's plans to dominate Earth. Uh, okay. This is uh This is like pulling in we we've unlocked a new operation to pull reserve cash from like random places. <laughs> and it's available for us to use. Okay, yes. Would you like to see new suits? Yeah, we got our Zaku Cannon, yay. It's good for mid-range fighting. And this is a uh, bright supply plane capable of supplying units fighting on Earth. Alright, man. That was an hour of a single turn. We got many more turns to go. Many more hours of gameplay left. Unless I... Unless I screw up and... Let... Let... The Federation win at some point, which might shorten this let's play. It's a very high possibility. Considering this game is very hard, you haven't seen it yet, but uh, yeah, once uh, the Federation start turning things around, uh, it's gonna start looking bad for Xeon. But uh, yeah, look forward to that point in the game next, 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 next time. <laughs> next time. Time's like 50. Um, but in the next time, we're gonna. I don't know, continue doing, uh, killing these guys, and continue, continue, like, uh, doing something about this, we need to save Garmara, and, uh, more importantly, Rambo Rao from this predicament. Uh, Africa's not looking too bad. Do we move to the units in Africa? I might have not. Whoops. Um, but yeah, we need, we'll need to take care of all this next time. Alright, so, see you, see you then.